Medical Dialogues, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Rashi Prakash and today I am going to talk about New drug can successfully treat patients typically resistant to high blood pressure treatment. High blood pressure is the main cause of strokes and a common cause of heart attacks and kidney failure. In most people with the condition, the cause is unknown and they need lifelong treatment through drugs who eventually become resistant to it. A new drug called Baxterostat has been shown to significantly reduce blood pressure or hypertension in patients who may not respond to current treatments for this condition according to results from a phase 2 trial published in the New England Journal of Medicine and presented at the American Heart Association Scientific Sessions Conference. The trial results represent the first time that this long-sought new class of drugs to treat resistant hypertension has been developed and successfully tested. The trial conducted over 12 weeks gave 248 patients either a once daily dose of Baxterostat at varying amounts or a placebo. At entry to the trial, none of these patients' blood pressure was controlled despite taking three or more medicines for high blood pressure. The doses of Baxterostat taken in addition to patients' usual medications varied from 2 mg to 1 mg to 0.5 mg. At the end of 12 weeks, the group who received the highest amount of Baxterostat saw a 20-point fall in blood pressure. There was an 11-point difference between this group and which received the placebo treatment, a difference rarely seen in any single drug to reduce blood pressure. The results of this first-of-its-kind drug are exciting, although more testing is required before we can draw comparisons with any existing medicines. But Baxterostat could potentially offer hope to many people who do not respond to traditional hypertension treatment. The researchers concluded that this study shows that the drug causes a marked fall in blood pressure in patients whose hypertension is resistant to usual drugs and that this type of hypertension is partly due to excess production of aldosterone hormone. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.